horrible, horrible working environment. Hollywood. Sunset and Gower to be exact. Right where like uh, Sunset and Vine and Hollywood Boulevard. The next street over is, maybe we'll see a celebrity. First things first, I need to set up traffic control. I got habanero behind me and some cones. This is what we got today. Homeboy, inches from falling over. What saved them is that pole up there. And the fact that he's got uh, three axles in the rear to rest on. Super heavy. The wood broke right there under the frame and I'm gonna have to suspend it with the spreader bar well, so they could offload it and do their delivery right here. So cones is the first step. All right, I got my make makeshift lane for now. Then uh, Joe's gonna use his cones up on the other side. Traffic's not bad at all right now, so this is perfect. This is obviously a spreader bar job. I'm gonna set that up right now. Let's boom up high. Let's see. That's why there's travel. There's a Starbucks right here. You never see an empty Starbucks. coffee or dropping it okay. what is that a $15 Starbucks yeah. <laughs> I'll buy you a new one. Oh man poor Joe that is funny let's get that go get my coffee you either lose your coffee or you spill it, Joe. No oh, more. Bad. All right, let's see what the best course of action is. I'm thinking, uh... My 10-foot straps. I'm gonna get two of them. Let me grab that real quick. All right, decided to go with the two 10-foot straps. These ones are like 21,000 in a vertical each. They're bad. Twist lock shackles. So I'll take care of this right now. I discussed it and uh, I think the best bet is going to be the frame grab hooks. Those things are pretty wicked, man. About 15,000 pound working low limit each. Even the spread because of the spreader bar. Now, keep in mind, I'm not lifting up the entire box. I'm only putting tension on it to stabilize it so they can empty it and do their first delivery right here. Uh, that Denny's. 
and then afterwards I keep it suspended so they can put the rest of the load in that box truck. They'll back up to it when I'm ready. <clears throat> so the frame grab hook will go underneath to the frame, one on each end. I'm going to attach a chain clutch to it to a shackle which will connect to the strap. In fact, I can start doing that part now. I'm going to need two of these. Put this one here and then one more. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Those are my boxes. Now with these angle irons, they're pretty nifty. Incredibly strong. You would put them here. So when I lift up, it's not just putting pressure on, on the width of the strap and crush this. This spreads it. So I would put that parallel to the body flush. When it's uh, time to tighten up, as soon as Joe finishes setting up the other side, do that on each end and it'll protect all this and come up evenly so instead of uh just like i said the width of the strap picking this up now it's the whole width of this which is like two feet wide you want to tighten up on this side and then we'll do that side yeah let's go on the other side and tighten up Yeah, you see what I mean? That's beautiful. First of all, the chain won't damage this part. And now it's gonna come up and the force of all this is spread throughout the width of this. If that makes sense. I love it. Yeah. Going up, up and away. Good. It's all right, let me just put some tension on it. Hurry up. Woo! Oh, you know what we need to do, Joe? We can put a protector on the top. We need to loosen that side. Okay, go down. Yeah. Go down again. All the way. All the way. All the way. Whoops. I'm gonna have him pick up the tank axle buddy. With the lift gate. Alright, I got this baby straight. Well straight enough for him to walk over where it's safe. Hulk in a spreader bar. Name a better duo. I'll wait. These people don't appreciate the convenience of having a pre-built spreader bar the way I do. Uh, Not yet. He's going to offload the Denny's first. load. And once he's done doing that, then we'll back up your truck and we'll switch everything. Man, this is such a good job. Yeah. I mean, you could just tell right there. Look how far it, uh, it is away from the pole. Look how far it is away from the pole already. Oh yeah, that was like a foot. Oh yeah. Sweet stuff, sweet stuff. Ooh, that is loaded. Oh, it's cold. It's a reefer unit. I'm gonna be posted up in there. Hey, let's get a Starbucks. Yeah, let's get a Starbucks. Don't spill it. My treat. Get a shot of Joe being helpful Honda. Helping these guys push the ballot into Denny's. And yeah, that's his nickname at the shot, helpful Honda. Literally the most helpful guy in the world. That thing's electric. It's easy, see? Now 
Now they made me feel like a jerk for just standing by and recording. Raise it up. Higher. All right, recording off. Let me help push. Here, we'll all push. Starbucks complete. Americano, black, and then this new Kiwi refresher thing sounds very good. Don't spill that, Joe. Kiwi uh, refresher, I don't know what it's called. But let's do the taste test. Oh, delicious. And only 90 calories. The crew is very close to being finished. That one, uh, Joe had to help him with because it's leaning. I guess the ones closest to where, the, where it was touching the pole got affected. Started bulging in the bottom, but they got it out. I believe there is one, two, uh, four? Four pallets left, maybe. And then we're out of here. Once I finish this part, Joe's able to uh, tow this back to the dealership. I don't know if you'll be able to see from this angle. Let's see where it broke from. I don't know how this happened, but... Oh. Now it's pretty dark, but all along there, you see that broken wood right there, how it's like splintered? Yeah, that, that broke. I'll show you on the other side what it's supposed to look like, but it's all... In fact, you can see it right here. Hello. Uh, yeah, you see that splintered wood right there? From the front to the back, pretty much. So while I have it suspended, Joe's going to be able to crib it, put some wood in there, and then uh, chain bind it, strap it, tow it out of here. I got an idea because I got a filter on this thing. I'll just take a picture and uh, put it right here. That's what uh, it looks like right now. Completely splintered all the way across. If this pole was in here, I'm positive this guy would have went over. Same thing with this tree. It was just a perfect spot for this to happen. I don't think it was overloaded. I have no idea what the issue is. Now, just to show you what it's supposed to look like. This is the good side. Again, I'll take a picture of it and put it right here in the corner so you can see. See how it's stacked up? It looks like there's one, two, three pieces that run all the way across. Well, that's 100% missing on the other side. And that's how you get a rollover. That's the second to last pallet. After this, there's one more. I'm gonna offload it directly. And Hulk's job is done. I got Joe underneath here taking off the drive shaft right now. Since he's uh, about ready to tow it. And remember that picture earlier with all that gap on this side, we got some wood here on from the, our tow trucks. And we're gonna do a bit of cribbing. Once it's empty, I'll probably raise it a bit more to get a, a better gap. And we'll just throw in some wood. It should have no issue at all because it's, it's empty now. But to prevent that leaning, uh, throw in some wood and a strap and it's 100% perfect, ready and safe for towing. By the way, this is Joe's new truck. He used to drive uh, Unit 33, which is a 50 ton wrecker. This is also a 50 ton, as evident by the cylinders. But uh, this is the newer model. It's a bad unit. Joe is spoiled. This is now Unit 85.
Like all the Pepe's truck, Long Nose Pete 389. The classic black accents, fenders and roof. Amazing truck, man. Joe does some damage with this 50 ton. If you have uh, Instagram and TikTok, this guy's hilarious, man. Joe's a good guy. He posts some really, really good content. And yeah, I said TikTok. He's not a 16-year-old girl, but he's got one. Him and Castro. I'll drop their links right now if you guys want to follow them for all the, the crazy stuff. I know I, I post all the YouTube rollovers and stuff, but they get themselves into quite a bind with some crazy calls themselves and it's worth the follow. Joe putting on the light bar. Fully empty now, lightweight. Already on the underlift. He uses quick connect fitting to uh, air up the whole system from his truck, that blue line right there. Next is just the Omega links and the safety chains. And we'll use this wood to do a little bit of cribbing while I got it suspended. As you can see right there, I got this side completely in the air. Those tires aren't on the floor. Then once we crib it, I let out and see what it does. It's obviously not perfect, it needs to be fixed, but it's safe for towing. I'll throw another picture right here in the corner uh, of our cribbing where we put the pieces of wood all along the frame. Better than nothing, and it makes it safe for towing. It's empty, dude, you'll be fine. Yeah. Another great job. Time to put this bad boy away. Happy customer, we saved the day. Thank you, Joe. 
we are done. Oh, I know what's missing. What? Check this out. This is how smart I am. Get this from the fridge damn yeah, smart got this ahead of time knowing that when the job was done i would want this delicious kiwi drink all right i'll follow you out of here let's go we're out of here people's peace